crispy. What's good, viewers? Today I've got the Marvel Legends Infinite Series X-Men set. This is an older series, maybe about a year old now by the time I'm doing this review. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this is the Marvel Now version of Cyclops, if I believe. I don't really follow X-Men that closely, but I'm almost certain it is. Let's see if it says on the back. It doesn't. But I think these were only available at Toys R Us. I think so. At least my Storm, she says only at Toys R Us right there at the bottom. So that's what I'm going off of. And speaking of Storm, I'll have a review of her out soon. I'll also have a review of Magneto out. I've had Strife for a long time, and this is a pretty old set, so I probably won't bother doing reviews of those. Regardless, let's open up this Cyclops. Oh, and if you want to read that, pause now, read it. Not a really extravagant suit or anything, but from what I know, it is pretty close to his actual Marvel Now suit, so I can't really, you know, crack down on Hasbro for that, for, you know, being true to the actual figure. Here we see the red's a little bit different color, but I think that's okay, because that's his visor. So I don't think it should be the same red. I'm not sure if it is supposed to be the same red. I wish I knew a little bit more about this character so I could tell you. But from my view, my point of view, I think the little bit orange there, I think it looks okay. Just because those where his eyes are and I can just I can just see it that has to be a different color. You know, maybe he's about to do a blast or something. But throughout, he's got the stripes here in the red. Not a lot of paint mishaps, a little bit there on the side, but... Everything came out looking pretty good. They did have a few troubles right here. They have a little bit of black showing through, but nothing really to complain about. I'm not a big fan of the belt here. I'm not sure why he has so many damn pockets. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I've never seen Cyclops use anything in his pockets before. I'm not sure why he has any pockets or if he even has a belt, but if he does have a belt... Who designed this belt? Because that's, that's too many pockets. I mean, Batman doesn't even have any pockets on his belt. I did a little bit of overboard there. That's like a Rob Liefeld belt looking right there. Not a big fan of the belt. It just looks a little bit clunky and weird. I don't know. I'd have to look up the actual suit to see if that belt's accurate to the character. Let me look down here. Nothing going on. Got the normal boots going on down there that just uh, don't look like much. They look like Crocs or anything, you know, whatever. That's what Hasbro's been doing with the feet nowadays, not giving us actual boots or anything like that. Um, pretty plain figure, nothing else to add there. Uh, so let's just go into articulation. His head will look down that far, it'll look back that far, and it'll do the exorcist, which it should because it has nothing hindering the articulation, so we should get full range of motion out of that. This goes straight down to ab crunch, it goes down that far, bends back that far. Shoulders will do the 360, they'll go up that high, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel with the wrist hinge at the base of the fist there. Not much for some reason, I don't know why I'm not getting much out of that. Usually we get a little bit more out of the figures, but I guess of the way the wrist was made, he's just not getting much articulation there, because it doesn't feel like much. Anyways, waist swivel. Legs will go up that high, they'll go back that far, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, no calf swivel, well actually no, there is there is a calf swivel, and we got the ankle ball joint, and on the hinge. Overall this is not a terribly exciting figure, maybe there's a few fans out there of Cyclops who just want every version of Cyclops under there and I, I can understand that because I'm the kind of person who wishes they would release every version of Deadpool or Iron Man so I can build an Iron Army, so I, I can definitely you know, uh, equate to that or understand the feelings about that, but to me it's just not doing much for me and I don't see why many people would be begging for this other than you know your Cyclops fan or your big X-Men fan and you just want to have every version of every character and that's cool that they made that for you guys for me it's not really doing anything the designs kind of boring not much going on you know the only thing that's really different is the visor I guess it looks pretty cool because it's an X but I, I prefer the old version of Cyclops I'd rather have a figure of that and this is all personal opinion uh, I don't really want to pass judgment or not of whether you can just have it or not. It's not a bad figure. There's nothing wrong with it. The paint apps came out okay. It's just not my cup of tea. So I'm not really going to recommend it or unrecommend it. You're just going to have to base it on whether you like Cyclops or not. So check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. Watch my other reviews. I really would appreciate it. Thanks for watching this review. I hope you have a good day. Peace out.